Hey everybody, Joel Hans here, and today we are at CJ's Italian Ice and Custard to do their, I think it's called the Monster Challenge, do their ice cream challenge nonetheless. So what it is, it is a banana boat, which is a basically banana split. It is a super brownie sundae, which is basically a sundae with brownies. Uh, you have 30 minutes to complete it. If not, it's 25 bucks. If you do complete it, you get the meal for free, the ice cream for free. So let's head on in and see what we can do here with my good friends. Mr. Joe, we have Mr. Rocky, and we have Mr. Blaine. And Blaine, you're gonna join me for this one? Yes, I am. So Blaine's doing it too. So the both of us gonna eat some ice cream. So let's head on in, see what it's all about. Uh, I think there's a, the record is held by Brandon, but because we just broke his record, we won't touch this one. How's that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love I love Brandon. Uh, we're just gonna enjoy this one and. Uh, Let's go. Hi everybody, so here we have the challenge. Uh, looks super delicious. So a whole quart of Italian ice. I got uh, everything from Sour Patch Kid to watermelon to cantaloupe to Captain America, whatever that is. Then we have a brownie boat sundae, which is brownies, ice cream, uh, caramel sauce, marshmallow sauce, I don't even know what else. Uh, banana boat, which is basically like a big banana split. And very similar over here, except on his banana split, I got Butterfingers, and the gentleman here, Mr. Blaine, got Fruity Pebbles. So, with that, here with my friend, Mr. Blaine. Blaine's coming all the way from California. So, first off, thanks for coming out, my friend. Happy we get to do a uh, challenge together. And about that, uh, we're gonna get started here momentarily. I'm not gonna go fast. I don't think Blaine is either. We're just gonna enjoy this. We do have 30 minutes, as I said. So, with that, Blaine, you wanna give us a countdown? All right, and three. Two, one, and go. Enjoy. So Captain America tastes like a popsicle. Bomb pop. Bomb pop, okay. Ooh, it's cold. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video, and legitimately you are watching me eat the coldest thing I have ever had in my life. This Italian ice was so dang cold, it was my first time having Italian ice, and boy oh boy, it is, this stuff is crazy. I usually don't get brain freeze, but I'm serious, you gotta watch this video because you're gonna see some crazy things happen. So here we are, Siege's Italian Ice in Las Vegas, Nevada, trying their awesome challenge. So really delicious challenge. You have two ice cream dishes, one Italian ice. I'll tell you a little bit more about it here momentarily. That's cool. This ice cream is going to be warm comparatively. <laughs> so cold. So cold. And believe it or not, the ice cream actually was warm compared to the Italian ice. Like legitimately, if you went from the Italian ice to the ice cream, it seemed warm. But anyway, down here, really cool spot here at CJ's. They had some extravagant looking ice cream cones, also lots of different varieties of Italian ice. They had a few different kinds of custard, 
Not to mention all these crazy brownie and ice cream kind of sundae type creations. So this is actually like an awesome way to just sample a few items this challenge here, even if you don't want to eat it as a challenge. Like coming in here with a partner and just, or you know, or a friend and just trying a nice variety of items would definitely be like a wicked idea, especially in hot sunny Nevada. We got a big brownie here. They had a couple different varieties of custard you could choose from to put into your challenge or into your sundaes. It's both the banana, or the banana boat and the brownie sundae. So I chose a vanilla and a banana, whereas Blaine went a vanilla, banana, and chocolate. I'm not a big fan of chocolate ice cream, so I kind of skipped on that. Also, you got to choose a little few of the toppings that went on the banana boats. Um, so that was really cool as well. Unfortunately, there's some really loud copyrighted music playing, so I was not able to provide a lot of the natural audio, which was absolutely hilarious. I mean, like, we're here eating cold, cold, cold items, and we were kind of dying uh, in certain parts. Here, still not doing too, too bad. Uh, the ice cream, like I said, was literally warm comparatively to that Italian ice, but man, oh man, was that stuff cold, and definitely a lot of cold stuff as well. In fact, the owner was there when we were talking to him, and he mentioned how generally it's the Italian ice that makes people lose the challenge. Most people can get through the ice cream, but the Italian ice is literally a do or die. That thing is not joking around. So I did this directly after I went and did the famous Las Vegas slider challenge at Born and Raised, and I'll be honest, it was not sitting well in my stomach. In fact, I wasn't feeling very good at all from that challenge. I have a feeling it was probably because there was so much cheese in it, but I can't be 100% sure. And yes, now I'm eating more dairy on top of it. It's sweet. It's good. But it's sweet. Just the ice left for myself. Blaine's basically the same part. Really, the Italian ice is freezing. Imagine that. Cold. Very cold. Another part of this challenge is you are not allowed to have hot beverages. They would give you a cold water bottle, like a cold bottle of water if you wanted liquids, which me and Blaine both did get, but it really did not help much unfortunately. Like it was only just there as a liquid. I mean it probably helped a little bit as even you know the cold water was theoretically warmer than this cold Italian ice. But if it was warm water, this challenge would be substantially easier. Additionally, the gentleman mentioned how um, people like to try to warm up the challenge before. I've literally like put the tried to put the Italian ice, like hold it in between their legs, and just do some pretty funny things. Put it in some pretty weird body parts. That's also what she said. Um, but that's actually not allowed. So you basically got to keep the ice on the table the whole time.
So I don't know, do you think you'd be able to do this challenge? Comment down below, really quickly, if you think you could, and let's see if me and Blaine can finish this thing up. You also start to notice I start to appear in an exuberant amount of pain, and that's because I was. My stomach was really, really cramping up, plus I was getting a bit of brain freeze. So I'm just going to let you check me out as I sit in pain and agony and enjoy the rest of the video. Back-to-back -back challenge for Joel right here. Teddy just crushed the blind and raised one. Set the record. So I'm done. That's cold. Yeah, boy. Blaine's almost done too. Seven and a half. Seven and a half minutes. God is Blaine. impressions of Vegas is this is absolutely crazy like everything is so lit up and going I have no clue what time of day it is I don't even like like there's, all these are casinos and all these places have buffets and gambling and I don't even know like how do you pick where to go this is crazy I totally understand why people come here how they come here and it is literally everything that has been described to me it is just absolute insanity like people can drink on the street there's half naked people everywhere smile and yeah so it's pretty crazy 